Hey guys, it is Coach AP coming at you through the video scope here in St. John's, Newfoundland, Canada. And today we're going to be talking a little bit under 18 female AAA. Uh, this past weekend was the opening weekend out in Corner Brook with TriPen doing really, really well. Looking like potentially the leader in the clubhouse right now. Congratulations to Derek and Mike Drover <clears throat> and Ryan Power out that way. Great weekend. We're going to talk a little team previews here. And we're going to start with Central, and we'll work our way alphabetically from Central, Eastern, and uh, Trepin, and then Western, of course, uh, being the W. I'm going to make noise in the street, please. I'm going to think love you could keep. So a little bit about Central today. Here's a little graphic here of what we have for a roster. Now, again, it's not always easy determining who's there. There might be a couple other players that are on that team that I'm not 100% sure who they may be. Um, just because I don't have an active roster, I just have to base it on maybe a photo I saw or whatever. Um, would love to get all the rosters if I could, but that's all we can do. So looking at this lineup, this is a pretty good team. I mean, they're pretty deep. You know, they've got some pretty good goaltending there. Um, I think that on the back end, I think they're going to be led by Jenna Party, going to be led by Kylie Kilo, a veteran player coming back this year. Good to see Kylie coming back and playing uh, after, well, Last year, I will consider last year a year completely off, but the previous year she did not play. So it's good to see um, good to see her playing with the ice pack again this season. Big notable addition on the blue line that they do not have is Sadie Brown, who's currently doing real well at Roth St. Netherwood. Congrats, Sadie. Look forward to watching her play. I'm moving through the season. But big loss, uh, big loss on the blue line. Tremendous skating defenseman very bright future in the game. So that's a big loss for them, but I think that's going to give them some more minutes to players like Purdy. And I think up front, they've got some pretty good players. Um, they've got Jenny Simpson there, who is a tremendous athlete, a very good ball hockey player from what I have seen, and also a good ice hockey player, works her butt off and gets a lot of, sometimes some of the things that she does don't get a whole lot of credit on the score sheet, but she is an energy player who is always going to give you 125% out there. I know you guys really go and you keep 125%, but this is our video, and we're going to say we can give 125% because no one can stop us, unless it's YouTube. The create YouTube could probably stop me from posting this, but what's that? That's it. I'm looking at Allie Burton. I think she's going to have a big season for the Central Ice Pack. Um, you know, coming into her second year, this is her technically her first year midget because love last year. But you know, I think she's going to have to fill the shoes of Lexi Small, who has departed from that program, uh, is now playing for Dalhousie University at the Atlantic University level. So good luck to Lex. Another player I look forward to watching play in the mainland. So it's good to see some graduates from that centralized back program moving on to uh, greener pastures. So uh, I think Burton's going to have to really fill the shoes of Small and fill the shoes of some of the players like her sister Beth that was there previously that have departed. Um, a couple of the, one of the uh, girls that was there two years ago, Orm on the back end was one of their leaders. She is now gone. So, uh, you know, there has been a little bit of turnover, obviously with the two year cushion since the last previous year. However, I'm, I think that this is a pretty good team. I do not know if they have Madison Shane goal. I'm not sure, but if they do solid goaltender from Labrador that has been there in the past. And I think even with the, um, with the Cora Hawk, it might be Devin, Cora, Devin. Again, some of my videos, they could go off the rails. You just never know what could happen when I'm doing a video. I'm not sure if it's Cora or Devin. I get names mixed up all the time. I've had like 97 concussions. That's all I can do. But either or, a goalie that's really come on, and somebody that was, that was talked about at the uh, provincial camp this year for under 18 as a goalie who's up and coming and was really pushing for a spot, couldn't beat out Erica Penny and Maggie Jones this year with um, that U18 female team that was supposed to go to the ACC, uh, which is now postponed. However, I think that she's an upcoming, up and coming goalie. And if both of those are their goaltenders, uh, if Hogg and Shea are their goalies, then look out. I, mean, I think this could be a team that when provincials rolls around, I'm guessing Jay Burton's coaching. Again, I, I'm not 100%. I'm assuming him and Jeff Taylor are back behind the bench in that program. Uh, if they are, good luck to the boys, to great fellas. Uh, Jay had me into his house in Twillingate in uh, June and cooked a tremendous meal. We, sh we shot the breeze for, for an hour or two, and I think his wife's still like, oh, my God, that guy, that guy coaches hockey. <laughs> so, anyway, 
that is neither here nor there. I'm not getting into that tonight. But good coaches, pretty solid in that, pretty good on the blue line. And up front, they've got some pieces. And Grace Goodyear is going to be a player that's going to have a good season. I think once Amelia Spencer gets her feet going, she's been banged up the past, the past year or so. She had multiple injuries, uh, lower body injuries. So I think once she gets her feet going, she's going to get better each weekend. And this is a team that I think could really challenge. I think they're going to be in the top half of the league. But again, I thought Central under-18, triple-A team will be in the top half of the league. And right now they have not shown that they can hang with the, the top teams in the under-18 male right now. But very good young team. That's another video for another time. So, so at the end of the day, my prediction for the centralized back under under 18 AAA team is somewhere in that probably second or third range, depending on the weekend. I think they, they will drop a few games that they probably should win. They might win a few games that they probably should have lost. But at the end of the day, this is a team that's going to challenge to win the championship at the end of the season, in my eyes. I think they have enough talent. They have enough depth there. Uh, Kennedy Burns, pretty good player. You, you know, I, and the list goes on. Deidre Livers I, I didn't go to OHA this year. She is staying home. So I think that this team, had, they've got some pretty good players. Uh, Chelsea Keel's a, a first-year player who I think is going to develop. Um, so it, it, good to see those two, play, the two Keel sisters playing together. I'm sure Georgina and Doug are super excited about that. What's up, out in Springdale? Oh, Got to mention Olivia Sparks, tremendous leader, really good person, and she's going to have a pretty good season. She could be a potential rookie of the year candidate. So watch out for Olivia Sparks this season. In my opinion, I think she's going to have a pretty good year. As long as she takes short shifts. Olivia, I know you're watching. All right, my next video is going to be on Eastern, so stay tuned. Again, this video is sponsored by Supplement King, two locations in St. John's to serve you better. The one out in Galway, I have not been out there, but I heard it's real nice. And the one on Torbay Road is my hangout. So if you get an opportunity, stop in, say hi to Joey. Stop in to say hi to the team. And I'm gone.